a story about boys and Pawnee League baseball. It all happened in the foothills of southwestern Pennsylvania. That's just across from Ohio, where I was born. <laughs> there was born in the minds of a half dozen fine men in the winter of 1950, an idea which in the intervening years has grown to affect the lives of more than 50,000 boys. Although it was designed as a program for Washington, Pennsylvania, to take care of that had graduated from Little League Baseball, the appeal soon spread beyond the limits of this very fine little city of some 25,000 people. After the boys of the Washington YMCA had nicknamed the newborn idea the Pony League, its adult leaders attached to it the slogan, Protect Our Neighborhood Youth, for truly that's what it was, a neighborhood program. In a short time, however, other communities learned of the program, and before long, the slogan was changed from Protect Our Neighborhood Youth to Protect Our Nation's Youth. Shortly after that, I came on the scene when I was made a member of the Board of Directors and later elected president, an office which I still hold. But I want to take off my hat, as I'm sure you do, to the original small group of men that formed the organization, and to the hundreds of men and women who have since given their time to it. The leadership of Pony League has sought to use this great American game, not as an end in itself, but as a tool to bring about conditions under which young, aggressive, active Americans, regardless of creed, color, nationality, or religion, can learn of the great blessings which America has to offer. Through it, they encourage these boys, these kids of yours and mine, to display a spirit of clean competition, hard work, and initiative. That the program will produce a higher quality of baseball player goes without saying, but that is quite incidental. First and foremost, Pony League is dedicated to producing boys who become better citizens because of having been part of it. <laughs> 